I really hope that we are, can develop a space for them to make them feel a sense of community, for them to know it's theirs, and that our young people are here safe and supported. Youth Build Louisville is constructing the community center at the corner of Breckenridge and Hancock Streets in Smoketown. CEO Lynn Rippey says here, young people can do homework, build leadership skills, and participate in violence prevention programs. Trying to ensure that their promise of life is just as strong as the promise of life for all other young people. The first phase of the two and a half million dollar project is expected to be complete this summer. And the nonprofit's project is one of 14 in Louisville receiving federal money. Congressman Morgan McGarvey championed for more than $12 million in the community project funding package. The investments are enhancing Louisville's parks, making safer streets, and boosting the city's infrastructure, among other efforts. The federal funds are also helping the 30th and Madison Street project that's contributing to the revitalization of West Louisville. It's two blocks from the new $50 million Goodwill Opportunity Campus and directly across the street from the $53 million Norton Sports and Learning Center. The $150 million project is spearheaded by Russell, a place of promise. They plan to transform this five acre property into a mixed use development with housing and retail space, a food hall similar to Logan Street Market and a parking garage. It's coming at exactly the right time uh, because we are in pre-development and we have immediate needs that this is going to help us to fulfill. Aligning with the organization's wealth building strategy, Russell residents will share ownership of the space. From a personal note, it's pretty significant. It's saying like, you know, not only is this my neighborhood, but, you know, I have decision making power in my neighborhood. And they credit those in Washington, D.C. for their decision to impact lives here in Louisville. Alexis Matthews, WOKY News.